Hi, my name is Samuel and I will be doing two activities with my friend today for conduction and convection. So for this experiment on conduction, you will need a lighter, a glove to protect you from heat, so rubber is not recommended, a spoon and candles. So earlier on today, I asked my friend Bit if she believed if she would feel the heat off a candle if she held her hand slightly above it and she told me no. This is a common misconception in science for heat energy. A candle does not produce heat. It merely provides light, temperature versus energy, and that a candle can indeed produce energy. A quick spiel about conduction. As per Pennsylvania State University, conduction is a process by which heat is transferred from the hot area of a solid object to the cool area of a solid object by the collisions of particles. So here we have a candle attached by a candle wax via a spoon and are putting the spoon over the candle to see if the heat conducts onto the spoon, therefore melting the wax when it heats up. And there we go. Off the candle goes because the, the spoon has gotten hot, which is heated up the candle wax and melted and made the candle fall off. So for part two, we are indeed trying to prove that candles do produce heat energy. For this activity, you'd need candles, balloons, some water from a tap, and a lighter. So, quick spill on convection. Convection is a process by which heat is transferred from one part of a fluid, liquid or gas, to another by the bulk movement of the fluid itself. Hot regions of a fluid or gas are less dense than cooler regions, so they tend to rise. As the warmer fluids rise, they are replaced by cooler fluid or gases from above. So here I place a balloon directly above a candle, not touching it, to prove that warm air, not heat, but warm air does indeed rise. So the candle is warming the air, and here I'm about to place the balloon on top of it. Boom, there we go, pops. So here's an instant replay. Remember the air is getting warm, so it is rising and it is about to hit the balloon. Boom, there we go. A quick spiel on conduction. So as per Pennsylvania State University, conduction is a process by which heat is transferred from the hot area of a solid object to the cool area of a solid object by the collision of particles. So I filled the balloon up with water. Here I am lighting the candle. The balloon has water in it, as you can see. Now I'm going to place it directly on top of the flame. So there we go. You can see the flame is touching the balloon. And there is water inside. So it is not popping. Why could that be? The water in the balloon absorbs the heat from the candle and rises, drawing heat away from the balloon. The hot water then rises away from the flame and once it cools down, drops back towards the flame, only to rise again. The continual process of convection current is what keeps the balloon from popping by constantly drawing heat away. And there we go. Proof that convection does indeed happen and can occur with a candle. That brings us to the conclusion of our experiments. Thank you and have a great day.